welcome back to my channel. Today we're making this quick and easy macrame pet bandana as per your request. So let's get started. You will need an existing pet collar that fits just right, as well as some sharp scissors. And we're gonna be using t-shirt yarn. I'll leave a link in the description box where you can get yours. Okay, so on a 15 inch strand of t-shirt yarn, we're gonna attach all 14 cords using a lark's head knot. To tie a lark's head knot, fold your cord in half. With the loop end, place it behind your cord and then place your tail ends through the loop. Pull it taut and then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the rest. Next, with the first four cords, we're gonna tie a square knot. Place your leftmost cord across the two centers and then your rightmost cord goes behind and then around and through that loop you created. Since you're not all the way up to the top, this is only half of your square knot. To complete the other half, we're gonna do the same thing but in reverse. So grab your rightmost cord and place it over top of the two centers and then grab your leftmost and place it behind and through the loop through your right. And that is your first square knot. Now we're gonna do the same thing and tie another square knot just below the first one that we've done. Now you may need to do a third square knot. It depends on your collar. So grab your collar to double check. And what you're looking for is you want your square knots to be ever so slightly wider than your collar. Mine is looking just right. So I'm gonna carry on and finish this entire row and do two square knots each all the way across. Now that we've finished our first row, what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate our square knots. So to do this, we're gonna leave out the first two cords. And with the next four cords, we're gonna be joining our two knots together by tying another square knot. For the rest of this pattern, we're only gonna be tying one square knot, not two like we did in the previous row. Our first row is special and you'll see why at the end of this video. Also, this tutorial is a part of my Your Request series. So if you have a request, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Now, the reason why I chose t-shirt yarn for this pattern is because t-shirt yarn is washable. I don't know about you, but me and my pup like to go for walks in the woods and we walk in the creek and he gets all muddy. So having a washable type of material is ideal. Anywho, I thought that that would be useful information, so I thought I'd share. Alrighty, so taking the first four cords, we're going to be tying another row of alternating square knots. So make sure you're incorporating the very first two cords that we left out in the previous row. For the rest of our rows, we're gonna be creating a V-shaped pattern. To do this, we're gonna be decreasing our square knots by eliminating the first two cords and the last two cords of each row. That way, our alternating square knots will form a point. So as you can see, we left out the first and last cords and we're gonna do the same thing for this next row and all the other rows. Once you've reached the very bottom, divide your cords in half. Then take the very first cord. This will be our filler cord. And we're gonna tie double half hitches around this filler cord. So to tie a double half hitch knot, you wanna loop it over top and around your filler cord and through the loop. And then you wanna repeat that one more time. And this will secure your double half hitch knot. So I'm gonna carry on with the rest of my cords and I'm gonna work my way all the way down to the point of our bandana. Now that we reach the very bottom, we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. So grabbing your last cord, that's gonna be our filler cord, and we're gonna take the next cord and work our way towards the center, tying double half hitch knots. So once you've completed your second half, we're gonna take our two filler cords here and we're gonna cross them over and tie another double half hitch knot. That way they're all joined together and there's no gap. 
Next, we're gonna tie some simple overhand knots about an inch of the way down on our fringe. Now, this isn't a total necessary step. However, I do find that it helps prevent our ends from fraying. Plus, I think it gives our fringe a little something extra special. Next, trim your fringe, but leave a little bit of an allowance just in case that knot wants to slide around. Next, we're going to tie a double overhand knot on our top cord here. This will help prevent all our square knots from sliding off. You can also tack it down by using fabric glue, super glue, or hot glue just to make sure it's secure. I find just a double overhand knot works for me, but if you feel more comfortable, go ahead and add some glue. All right, so all that's left to do is attach our collar. To do this, all we're gonna do is weave it through our double square knots that are up at the top. And this is why I said our first row is special. If you make this macrame pet bandana, please tag me on Instagram. I would seriously love to see it. It always gives me motivation and inspiration to just keep doing what I'm doing here on YouTube. Plus, with this particular pattern, it's never a bad thing seeing some cute pups too. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next one.